Hi everyone, in this video, I will show you how to use calculus to prove that the area of a square is a is equal to a to the power of 2, where this a is the side of the square. So in calculus, there is a formula that allows us to find the area under any curve. So let's say we have this curve here, or this function f of x, and we want to find the area from a to b on the x-axis. So the formula is going to be a is equal to the integral from a to b of f of x dx. Now let's draw our square. And our square has a side length of a. And we can represent this with a line where here f of x is equal to a. And then the base is also a. So from here to here, so this is a. And then we draw everything together. And here is our origin. So now we have our square. And we're interested in finding the area. If we use this formula, then we have the area of the square is equal to the integral from 0 to a. So from 0 to a of f of x. And f of x is also equal to a. And just note that a is a constant, so it's just a number. And then we have dx. Now, if we solve this integral and it gives us a square, then we basically prove that the area of a square is a to the power of 2. So let's go ahead and solve this integral. You can imagine that this is 1 times a. And because a is a constant, we can move it outside of the integral. So we have a times the integral from 0 to a. And then we have the 1, so 1 dx. And using the fundamental theorem of calculus, we have f at a minus f at 0, where f of x is the indefinite integral 1 dx. So what is the antiderivative of 1 dx? It is just going to be x plus c. We need to find f at a. We just replace x with a. And note that we don't need to write plus c. We don't need to do that. We only write plus c when we're trying to find the antiderivative, but when you already substituted a number into f of x, then we no longer need to write plus c. Now, same thing with f at 0, so we replace x with 0. So here we have a times f at a, which is a, minus f at 0, which is 0. So this is a times a, which gives you a squared. We just proved that the area of a square is a to the power of 2. And that's basically it for today. In the next video, I will show you how to use calculus to prove the area of a triangle, a rectangle, a circle, and an eclipse. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And also ask me if you have any questions down in the comments below.